Grade 8 math number 7.3c. More linear equations and more distributive property. This time we're going to do a real life problem. As we said in the previous video, the distributive property can be useful for solving equations. We distribute a factor to all the terms within parentheses, then solve for the variable. So remember, we need to apply the distributive property before we isolate the variable to solve it before we isolate that variable on one side because the order of operations says to simplify expressions inside the parentheses first. So here's our real life problem. It's going to be a restaurant problem. Emma's family had their restaurant bill reduced by $7.50 because of a special discount. Maybe they had a coupon or something. They left a tip of $8.90, which was 20% of the reduced amount. So how much was their bill before the special discount? All right, so they had a restaurant bill. They had a coupon or something that $7.50 was taken off, and they left a tip of $8.90, which was 20% of the reduced amount. We need to find out how much the bill was. So the answer is the amount before the $7.50 discount. If we can find that amount, we'll have the answer. So. We're going to make a plan. We're going to write an equation to find that amount before the discount. All right, so here's our equation. This is the 20%, the 0.2, because you know 20% is 0 0.20. It's one-fifth of a dollar. It's 20 cents of a dollar. So 0.2 is going to represent the 20%. The x is that amount before the discount that we're trying to find. The 7.5 is the $7.50 discount. We don't need to write that zero. 7.5 is good enough. 8.9 is the $8.90 tip that they left. That's the 20% tip. We don't need the zero after that either, really. Okay? So now we got our equation. 0.2 x minus 7.5 in parentheses equals 8.9. Now we can just simplify it and solve it. So the first thing we do is we're going to use the distributive property to solve it. Now, before we discussed multiplying by powers of 10 to get rid of decimals. And we could do that, and I'll show you at the end of the video, but it won't affect this guy. Because he's inside parentheses, he's still going to be 7.5, because that would be multiplied by 10, and that would be multiplied by 10, and he'd stay the same. So we're just going to do this as decimals. So 0.2 times x is 0.2x right here. 0.2 times negative 7.5 is negative 1.5. 7.5 times 0.2, see, is 150, and because there was one hop, two hops in the equation, there's one, two hops in the product, so it comes out as 1.5. And that's going to equal the 8.9 now we can start using inverse operations to isolate x. So because there's a minus 1.5 here, we'll add 1.5 and we'll create a zero pair and then that'll cancel out. We add 1.5 to this side of the equal sign also. That's going to give us 10.4. Now we've got 0.2x equals 10.4. We have to divide both sides by 0.2. And that'll create our friend, the invisible one here that we always talk about. And that's 10.4 divided by 0.2. When we do long division real quick, we can just move that decimal point behind the 2 and behind the 4. If we move it one hop in the dividend, we need to move it, I mean in the divisor, we need to move it in the dividend, okay? And that puts it straight up here in the answer, all right? And 2 goes into 104 52 times. So we get that x is equal to 52. So the restaurant bill was $52. Well, $52 minus the $7.50 coupon is $44.50. If we multiply this by 20% to get the tip, it's going to be $8.90. It worked out perfectly. Now, let's talk about this not multiplying it by a power of 10 because it's a decimal, because we did that in the previous video. Why aren't we doing it now? Because that 7.5 was inside parentheses, it is not multiplied by a power of 10, but it would be eliminated after the distributive property was done. So let's say we did multiply the 0.2 and the 8.9 by powers of 10. 
then that would give us a 2 and an 89. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 0.75 is a positive 2 and a negative 0.75. 7.5, so that would give us a negative 15, because it's a positive and a negative. So now, we didn't have to worry about getting rid of the decimal. It did it on its own when it was multiplied by 2. Now we've got 2x equals negative, 2x minus 15 equals 89, and we add the 15 to both sides, and we get 2x is equal to 104. Divide both sides by the 2 to make our friend the invisible 1, and we still get x equals 52. So this, we could have done it either way. And we did it just by doing decimals, just to come straight down and do it. Or we could have multiplied by powers of 10. But remember, whoops, I'm missing a parenthesis, aren't I? Remember, if it's inside parentheses, it does not get multiplied by the power of 10 because it's considered all one thing right here. Okay? We don't multiply it inside the parentheses by a power of 10. Only that guy would get multiplied by a power of 10 and that guy, okay? Parentheses don't count, okay? So, that, I almost tripped over a dog again, that is using the distributive property in a real life problem and now you saw how we used the decimals, the decimals in this linear equation and we didn't eliminate it with a power of 10, we just solved it because you could do that doesn't have to be multiplied by a power over 10. We just do that to make it easier on ourselves if we want to, okay? All right, we're going to continue on, and I'm going to talk about a mixture solution of acid in the next video, okay? That's going to be 7.3D, all right? I'll see you there. Bye.